Sir, we have enjoyed low inflation in Singapore for more than a decade. But inflation rose sharply in 2022 following the outbreak of the war in Ukraine, which led to significant increases in global energy and food prices. Despite the unprecedented surge in prices, we had good economic growth in 2022. So incomes that year rose faster than inflation and Singaporeans were better off in real terms. Unfortunately, this didn't happen last year. Inflation had in fact started to moderate, but economic growth also slowed. As a result, real incomes declined. We had picked up early indicators of this negative trend, and that's why I introduced the cost of living support package in September last year and enhanced the assurance package to over $10 billion. While we expect the situation to improve this year, there are uncertainties in the outlook, as I mentioned just now. So in this budget, I will do more to support households and further enhance the assurance package. First, I will provide an additional $600 in CDC vouchers for all Singaporean households. The first $300 will be disbursed in end June this year. The remaining $300 will be disbursed in January next year. Second, I will provide a cost of living special payment of between $200 and $400 in cash. This will be extended to adult Singaporeans with accessible income of up to $100,000 and who do not own more than one property. Third, I will provide additional one-off USAFE rebates to help households cope with increases in their utility bills. In total, eligible HDB households can expect to receive two and a half times the amount of regular USAFE rebates or up to $950 in financial year 2024. This will cover about four months of utility bills for those living in three and four room flats. Fourth, I will provide an additional one-off service and conservancy charges or SNCC rebate for HDB flats. Together with the regular SNCC rebates, eligible HDB households will receive up to four months of such rebates in financial year 2024. Altogether, the additional support under the assurance package will cost $1.9 billion. Uh, we have designed this package so that lower income families get more support. We have also ensured that larger households, particularly those with seniors and children, get more support. Let me give some illustrations. A lower income household of four with two young children will receive about $5,500 in benefits in financial year 2024. This comprises cash, MediSafe top-ups, USAFE and SNCC rebates, and CDC vouchers. A middle-income household of four with two young children will receive about $3,000 in benefits. A middle-income household with six persons, a larger family, including two seniors and two young children, will receive about $8,000 in benefits. Sir, these are concrete ways to help Singaporeans tackle cost of living pressures. Let me assure everyone, we will always have your backs. Beyond the assurance package, I will top up the GSD voucher fund by $6 billion. This delivers on our commitment to permanently defray GSD expenses for lower and middle income households through the GSD voucher scheme.